Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Andy. AWS Deep Racer is a fully autonomous, 1 18th scale race car designed to get you rolling with reinforcement learning. You can train your racing models in the cloud and race them in a physical car against other developers in the AWS Deep Racer League. You can train your Deep Racer models using a simulated car and track running in the cloud. You can see here the track and the simulated view from the car's camera. This is a full 3D physics model of how the car interacts with its environment, all the way down to the tire pressure and friction on the texture of the track. Deep Racer learns by experimenting in the simulator. Under the hood, there are two neural networks being trained. The first detects features on the track. The heat map overlay shows what the reinforcement learning model is paying attention to, with red being the most important in making driving decisions. The second is the policy network. This is what makes decisions about when to steer left, steer right, or even accelerate. Once it's learned the basics, the algorithm starts to incorporate your reward function. This is just some Python code which tells you the algorithm what behavior to reward while optimizing for the fastest lap time. Finding the right rewards, like staying on the track and close to the center line, this is where the skill is in autonomous racing. Now, I won't spoil the fun and tell you all the tricks to rack up a fast lap time, except to say that speed is not as important as you might think. So let's take a look at this on our test track. We have here the deep racer on the start line of our official 2018 racing season track. It has a dotted line in the center of the track to help guide the car. But Deep Racer will navigate around this track completely autonomously. The view here is from the camera on the car. And we've added the same heat map overlay to show where the model is looking as it's driving. And we're going to run two models on the same car, each of which has spent a different amount of time training in the simulator and used a different reward function. What we'll see is that with more track time and better rewards, the algorithm can learn more and more sophisticated driving behavior. Let's start up the first model. This is like a baby model. It's only spent about 40 minutes in the simulator, and you can see that it's very erratic. It's not very fast. The colors flickering in the heat map show that the model hasn't yet learned what to pay attention to. It just hasn't had enough time on the track. The model also uses a very simplistic scoring function. OK, so that was the baby model. Now let's see what the pro racer version looks like in our second model. This has been trained with a more sophisticated reward function which rewards correct track positioning and cornering with several hours of simulated track time to learn from. Let's fire her up. You can see this is much less erratic on the track. Deep Racer is driving more smoothly and deliberately. If you look at the heat map in the camera feed, you can see that the attention is much more focused. The reinforcement learning algorithm has been able to discover human-like driving behaviors, such as taking wide corners and aiming at the apex of the curve, which all uh, result in faster lap times. Not too shabby. So before we move on, let's give a quick round of applause to our autonomous racer. So how can you get started with Deep Racer? Well, starting today, you can pre-order Deep Racer on Amazon.com. It's priced at $3.99. But for a limited time, we're making it available for just $2.49. The first Deep Racer League kicks off in the MGM Grand Garden Arena right after this keynote. And we have tracks and cars ready and waiting for you to race. The fastest lap each hour will receive a free Deep Racer car. And you can win prizes throughout the conference, including a chance to enter the Championship Cup final, which is happening here tomorrow. We're so excited, and we'll see you on the track.